That night, I stood in front of my closet, trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to this party. Leo texted me the address not too long ago. So when did you get his number? You literally just met this guy and now he's got your n- Oh my god. Why are we going so fast? Isn't it chapter one? No, I'm sorry, this is chapter two now. Leo was kind, very kind. He helped me with Jackson. Now that I'm thinking about him, I can't believe what happened between us. Y'all smell that? What? Smells like a cheesy ass plot line. <laughs> I pulled out my favorite red dress and heels and put them on. They're gonna be perfect for this party. I decided to wear that over the purple dress that my mom gave me. <laughs> oh no! That purple one! What is that? It's a balloon from a kid's birthday party after you deflate it. Fucking <laughs> jail! <laughs> Be right back going to Pinterest. I mean, the red dress is fine, but for a high school party? Who are you lying to? That dress is not fine at all. As I put the final touches in my hair, I realized I was missing something. I was missing a... Uh, a uh, hundred years passed, and my brother and I discovered the new avatar, an airbender named Aang. And although his airbending skills are great, he still has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. <laughs> oh my god! It never fails! <laughs> I figured out what I was missing. A golden bracelet that Leo gave me. I put it on, and then I left to go to the party. He gave you a bracelet?! Wait a minute, did we miss a few chapters? Okay guys, she's on her way to the party. Now, I know the plot looks a little rocky, but I promise it's getting there. Also, can you guys please stop with the Avatar references? I know why I may be a little silly, but I believe Aang can save the world. <laughs>